Overall assessment, what did you think of your performance today? Um, you know, to be honest, we were only out there for like 10 minutes, and I've been here since noon. So, uh, no, but based off of what we did, I feel like I did great. But um, definitely never had that many bags in a row. So it was, it was a little new. It was a little different. I think more of an old school approach. But, uh, no, it was it was great. Unexpected, but I think we all did really well. By all accounts, you had a good performance at the Combine in Indianapolis. Did that allow you to come into this more relaxed than you otherwise might have been? Um, definitely, if not just from the point of view that I did not have to do anything other than the offensive line drill. So, obviously, I was a little more relaxed than most people. I wasn't quite on edge about things. But um, I, now I got my fair share of crap from everybody. But um, I had, like, 15 people in there trying to just do your bench. You can't do anything but help yourself. I was like, no, 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 just do it. That kind of stuff. But, uh... I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. I've already agreed ahead of time I'm not going to, so I just did the offensive line drills. What, how many did you bench at the combo? Uh 29, uh, almost 30, but I wanted, but you, I want to say 30. It was close. You were, you were satisfied, or were you satisfied with yes. your combine performance overall, not just bench? Well, I wanted upper 20s. I wanted 30, but. What, what was happening enough. on that last one? Just couldn't. I don't know, <laughs> but it, it didn't work out. So, But I'm not, I'm not unhappy. It was a really good number. Were there anything, any of the events at the Combine that your performance surprised yourself? Um, that L drill. I didn't think that, um, I think I got a tied for 10th place overall. And uh, going into it, I was thinking that would be one of my weaker you know, areas just because that was something I wasn't completely familiar with. Mm. I was pretty good at the shuttle, but not so much the L drill. And so that one kind of surprised me. What have you been hearing from teams since the Combine? Um, just uh here and there they're wanting to work me out or just um you know look good just uh we just want to see you a little more just uh i guess more drills not so much the combine drills just stuff kind of catered to their organization mm -hmm. and just from that point of view just seeing if i can fit in with them have you met with some teams yes gone to? can you say who they are no i cannot but uh i have i've met with a few and i've got a few more coming up mm -hmm. have you done any private workouts or has it been just over the phone meetings or um workouts okay how many have you had a couple so far. <laughs> Does it boost your confidence? It, it definitely. Um, yeah, because to be honest, I don't know. Because you know, none of them they'll, they'll right. they're not gonna sit there. Even after I've, you know, they don't sit there. Like, okay, you'll get drafted. But I'm like, where? But I don't. I don't ask them. But uh, it, I mean, it's gonna be exciting. But uh, as far as knowing where I'm gonna go, I have no idea. A year ago, you're coming off a, a year when you didn't play. Correct. Uh, you were carrying a little more weight than you are now. And you dropped, what, 70 pounds between the Armed Forces Bowl and right. Spring Bowl last year. Mm -hmm. What changed? It seems like everything about you changed in the matter of a few months. <laughs> it just—it wasn't just the physical transformation. I think overall it was more the, uh, just the mentality, just completely different. Whereas before I'd just say, screw it, I don't want to work out. And now even if I don't want to work out, I'd, I'd do it anyway. Right, but what sparked that? Was it somebody sitting down with you and talking um, to you? Because surely you had those conversations. No, it, it really that. wasn't that. It was um, more or less just kind of got it in my head because when I came back during two days that year, obviously I got some uh, funny looks to say the least, and people were just, you know, they'd be like, "What happened to you? What did you do? What, did you eat somebody?" Or but uh, like another person is just attached to me. But you know, I look at myself in the mirror and I see it just kind of a gradual change. Whereas they see me one minute, they see me the next minute. What the is this <laughs> we actually signed this guy for another year of scholarship uh, <laughs> <I was like, laughs> they didn't say that but you could tell from the look in their eyes that's what they were thinking but uh no just kind of from there just kind of got it together do you, sorry, do you feel better though oh god this? yes there's yeah. i would have died 10 seconds into that <laughs> <laughs> i mean it was it was a good good little it's a good conditioning deal right there, just those bags. I mean, yeah. that, no, there's not a chance in hell I'd be able to do that at three, more than what I am now, 380. That's what it was. When you've had the sit-down meetings with uh, scouts and coaches from the NFL teams, how much time have they spent talking about the transformation or the decision-making that w that you went through to drop the weight, to get eligible, to come was, back um, for your senior year? You know, I'm kind of thinking that uh, I could have kept my mouth a little shut because <laughs> there were like half the meetings. They didn't even know about that. And they're like, what's the heaviest you've been? They're thinking like 327 or 330. I'm like, 380? They're like, what? Probably more impressive though. Like, wait. Think. They're like, go back, go back, go back. What did you just say? <laughs> right. So then is the response, how did you let yourself get that big? Or is it, what did you do to show that uh, the biggest, The biggest question from them was just, um, would it be an issue going forward? And I've told them it's been over a year. I've kept it off. And have you ever been 380? You would know exactly what I'm talking about. 
not. Uh. So do they seem to respond positively to the yeah, it, your it ability worked, to change worked. that? It's more of a positive because just to show what I've been able to do to this point. What have they said about when they've given you feedback? What are they most impressed with in terms of either your on the field play or your quickness, your strength? Your um, what do they like seem to like the most about you? A lot more the, the quickness point of view and then the playing with strength because I mean obviously I'm not the guy to come I did like 50 reps or whatever he did and cheated but he got 42 <laughs> but um no but either way um no just just the uh, strength I play with no but I, I've always been able to like have a good football strength going into it right who's giving you the most or the best advice about how to approach the training for combine and, and pro day um I guess I just from a physical point of view, I kind of knew what I was going to do ahead of time, but um, I definitely got some pointers because after the Shrine game, I wasn't the best interviewer, but uh, interviewee. Um, they definitely said, speak up a little more, speak your mind, be a little more, uh, I don't have a word for it, but just be more yourself, but just uh, make yourself known. You know, don't just kind of sit back in your little shell and just kind of just answer yes, no, this, that, and kind of elaborate. And uh, I was able to take that to heart you're talking about in the combine the interviews, interviews yes yeah, sorry did you get any wild questions um that, yeah, crazy stuff? i guess i got a weirder one which was just are you still dating that girl from your twitter i was like yeah he's like well does she know she's way out of your league <laughs> no that you're way out of her league there you go she was he's like what the hell are you doing with her i was like whoa calm down calm down don't tell her that but uh <laughs> It's just, she, a, she it's just a random question. <laughs> it's a huge compliment for her. It's a big diss to me. That she was out of my league. Not me out of her league. Gotcha. As long as she's clear on that. Correct. No, it wasn't the other way around. All right, so you I'm not out of anyone's league. Do you, have a, do you have a dream team? Do you, did you grow up dreaming of um, playing for the Cowboys or something? Uh, I, I guess growing up, I was more of, I, obviously I was a Cowboys fan. When they won the Super Bowl against the Steelers was when I kind of started remembering Super Bowls. But, um... No, from there, and then the, the Texans got a team. My dad lives down there. And I think just because my mom was such a hardcore Cowboys fan and my dad liked the Texans, I just wanted to, like, spite her, I guess. So I, so I ended up becoming a Texans fan. So, And then I just rubbed it in her face, and they won that first year. And they beat Texans. the Cowboys the very first game they ever had. How does that go over at home? Well, I mean, she's not the happiest. <laughs> you know. Did you talk to Michael Irvin today? No, I did not. I didn't even know he was out here, to be honest with you. All right, she's not the happiest when you give her grief about the Cowboys and Texans, but what's her Well, reaction? recently um, they've been. Or what has their reaction been to all this as you've climbed up on, you know, hundred top 100 lists or the projections that you may get right. drafted pretty high? How have they been handling all this uh, and reacting to your success? My dad, he's always got the same kind of reaction. Um, it, you can't tell if he's really excited or really not excited, but I, I know deep down he's got to be really excited. But uh, his demeanor doesn't change a whole lot, but I know he is, and then uh, – Obviously, my mom is the most excited, happiest, giddy person you'll ever meet when she talks about it. So, obviously, she brags to everybody, which which I'm fine with. She's a mom, so she has that right. She's had to put up with me for this long.